The remnants of the sober living house behind me are now completely boarded up after the fire left 13 residents homeless and looking for any help the community can provide. Sheer panic, his explosions, barbecuers coming through the kitchen <laughs> from outside, sheer panic. Residents describe the feeling inside sober beginnings on Green Terrace Drive early Friday morning as flames shot into the air. Fortunately, everyone escaped unharmed, but now all who lived here are without a home. We don't know, you know, what, what this looks like going forward, uh, whether we can get a new house, um, rebuild the one we have. Uh, so that's a big question, you know, because that's our job is to keep people off the street and, you know, help them stay sober and connected. But hope is already on the horizon. The Billings community has stepped up in a big way. The residents are currently being allowed to stay here at the Sure Stay Hotel until the home can figure out its next steps, and donations have been pouring in. I'm just totally overwhelmed and with gratitude about all the people that have helped. We have a whole room full of clothes, you know, that we, I don't know where we start. And that's not all. Before the sun had set Friday, Casey Keith, the owner of Sober Beginnings, received a call she never expected. From New Day Ranch, another sober living facility here in Billings, about a home they have in Lockwood. When we heard this, we thought, you know what, we have room for 13 uh, men in a very, you know, workable house that's vacant right now. And we're paying the utilities already, and it's like, how do we let people who are really striving to improve their lives, how do we leave them alone? Sober Beginnings is now figuring out its future, thankful for the generous offer, thankful to have options. We have to really take into account how many people walk, and we've had full houses that nobody drove. So if nobody drives, then, you know, how do we how do we transfer people to work and meetings and things like that? But Keith says she feels the fear that so many felt during the fire has been replaced by another feeling, one of thankfulness. I'm completely full of gratitude uh, from the Billings community because I've gotten so many calls and texts. Mm -hmm. And uh, first and foremost, I'm glad everybody's okay. In Billings, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.